Scope they're giving out free shards for Spider Weaver for everyone. If you're over level 70, Red Hulk is on his way back. And does that mean we're finally going to see the Apocalypse Kit? We'll cover this and more in the UK's number one Marvel Strike Force podcast, the MSF Pod. <laughs> Greetings, Commanders. Welcome to episode 94 of the UK's number one podcast on Marvel Strike Force, the MSF Pod. This podcast covers everything that's happening in the world of Marvel Strike Force, which is a mobile hero collector game available wherever you play mobile games. We are the lads from 4Play Gaming. Check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 4Play UK. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, and tell your alliance mates about us if you enjoy this podcast, and a massive thank you to you for your support. Introducing the crew today, we have the kit man and resident expert in all things Marvel, Diggs. How you doing, buddy? Mate, how you doing? All good, all good. Good to see you. Happy New Year. (laughs) (laughs) Right, okay. Uh, First and foremost, buddy, uh, did you get any good upgrades for Red Stars, and what have you been working on team-wise? I know it's been a while, so... Um, yeah, and I've been working mostly on that Death Sea team, the new um, mutant raid team, and they are wicked sick. Um, so yeah, I've been uh, I've been smashing them. Um, in terms of pools, I've got no one. They put um, well, allegedly they put um, Captain uh, Captain Carl, whatever she's called, in the um, the Red Star orbs. Yeah, and I must have opened forty basics and about ten. Um, Four red and got nothing, literally nothing. I was really? Just like, oh, they must have messed this up again. They say she's in the orbit, she's not, but literally nothing on it. I eventually got two stars a couple of days after that. They first went in there on on her, but yeah, first day nothing. How did you um? How did you do on the um on the US agent one? Just out of interest. Uh, I think I got him in like the first orb. I think I opened like one orb and got him four star, and I was like done or three star. Right, yeah, okay, because because I experienced the exact same thing with him. Like, I I I think I finally pulled two stars on him like the other day. No weird, but like literally nothing. And I I went through at least twenty orbs to get him, and I was just like, oh, you know what, screw this, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, brutal. Okay, so yeah, so um, you've been working on Death Seed. Um, any any major pulls? Any red star? Like big big sixes, big sevens. Um, no, I mean, I pulled a, a six star, um, four players going through the Fantastic Four there, we won't be. I pulled a six star, um, Mr. Fantastic about two hours after you pulled a seven star thing, if I remember rightly. Yeah, yeah, my big, my, my big red thing. Yeah, giant man thing, giant size man thing. That's it, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that, like, I, 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 if any one of us could have pulled the, the seven star thing, I wanted it to be you because you already had the T4 on him. <laughs> yeah. Or the old knuckle sandwich, the old boost. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid! I was so annoyed about that back in the day. Uh, <laughs> a, never use him. Yeah, I mean, at some point, you know, like in the next, like, I mean, if the game's still, you know, if the game's not on fire in a year's time, then <laughs> you know, when this Fantastic Four film comes out, hopefully they'll get a rework. But I mean, geez. Yeah, yeah, a damn good rework, I tell you that. That's it, mate. You'll be bagging everyone out with the old uh, knuckle sandwich. Constant moose knuckles for everyone. That's it. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, that's it. So pretty much the same for me, buddy. Um, I've had one eye on the um, the new rebirth team and all that, but um, yeah, uh, I mean, I pulled I pulled six on Captain Carter, um, nice. which is which is good. But like I said, I've got nothing on um, old the old Harry Kane on um, dressed up as <laughs> as uh, Captain America. So uh, yeah, so but but that's been it for me, mate. Um, I've I've slowly been building the uh, the underworld team as well, just to try and get these milestone points, but. That feels bad doing that. Yeah, no, that, that can get straight from the bin. Indeed. Um, uh, what's right. the name of the new team with Captain Carl? What are they called? Re- is it Rebirth? Rebirth. Let's just have a look what I got on the other one. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got four stars on US Agent and yeah, just two stars on um, Captain Carl. But like, I haven't leveled anything into Captain America and barely anything into Winter Soldier. And I don't know if I just want to hammer through mm. bio resources, leveling them up, even though. As we get into the high levels, we just unlocked Doom through um, three point four now, haven't we? And I don't think my um my bio teams are going to cut it. Yeah, but I don't, I don't just want to hammer through resources. I don't know. Yeah, it's it. It definitely feels like a sort of wait and see. I mean, I imagine that. I mean, obviously we're all in, we're all in the same strike team in our alliance, aren't we? So I imagine yeah. the four of us are going to be able to get through bio, and then you know it's plain sailing, isn't it, in tech? So yeah. Te- Tech and mutant now are very easy. And Mystic's still pretty chilling as well. It's just the uh, it's skill and now bio is becoming a slight issue. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, I've 
I, I, for some reason, I had I had Captain up at seventy five already, uh, Captain America, because um, he was needed for one of the scourges. Uh, wave one was needed for one of the scourges. Yeah, um, weirdly, Red Hulk. That's right. Yeah, that's the reason I'm considering leveling him up. Yeah, so he's at seventy five. I think my um, I think my Bucky's seventy five as well. So um, I, I, I'm semi healthy, but like, I mean, would, um, we might as well jump straight into it. The so old. Uh, US agent, old Harry Kane in the Captain America costume. He's the monthly event. How are you doing, like, pulling for him? Because you have, it, they've gone back to the orb thing, haven't they? Which I think is garbage. How are you yeah. getting on with that? Um, terrible. I don't think... I think I've got five shards for him so far. Right. Yeah. So, not not good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I um, I think... I think, for, I, I, think I did pull, like, a, a regular, like, core orb for him when he first came out. And so I might have a few more shards than that, but I'm I'm fairly low on that as well. I, I feel like I'm not going to unlock him in time. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, obviously we've got ages, but like, it, I, I I don't like pulling orbs. I'd rather just get steady character shards throughout the um throughout the time. It's it's good to know exactly what you're getting. Isn't it? Like that's the trouble yeah. with those orbs is that you never know exactly how many you're going to need to unlock him. At least with the shards, you can be like, right, if I get to this point, then I know I'm going to get him. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, difficult one, isn't it? But um, yeah, I guess well, well, we'll have to. We will continue to talk about it over the next couple of weeks. See how we do. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like you say, it's one of those things that if we can survive in bio for now, then it's fine. But yeah, if if we if everyone starts struggling, then you know we're gonna have to build that team. I guess I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, so Cosmic Crucible minute. Um, since we last talked, we've had to pay a lot of attention to the Cosmic Crucible store. Obviously, we've now got the um, the gold section of it, um, where the gold currency can be used to buy new characters and stuff. Um, what are you spending the money on your um, with your gold resources um, in the Cosmic Crucible store? I've, I've hammered through almost all of them, um, leveling up Gambit, Hulkbuster, and Abomination. Okay. So Gambit and Hulkbuster, uh, no, sorry, Gambit and Abomination, I think, are both six red now. Nice. Okay. My, my gamut is thick. My gamut is 218k. So he's, uh, he's loving life. Crikey. And yeah, but Abomination, sorry, six yellow, five red. So he's like 180k. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just doing Hogbuster now, who is. I think he's pretty thick as well, actually. Where is he? Mm, let's see, I'm having a sec. Uh, see, so yeah, he's five red currently and he's 170 k so he's not bad either. Nice, yeah. Um, I'm. I, I just follow. I, I just focused on one. I, I, I went straight for Hulkbuster to get him to six star, and then on to Gambit, and I've nearly got Gambit to six as well. But oh. yeah, um, I like that store. Hopefully, they can put more, uh, more uh, meta characters in there as soon as possible. I'd, uh, I'd be happy with that. Yeah, like I say, I've, I've needed about thirty more shots to get Hulkbuster to six, and I'm just going to go back to farming those credits until a new character goes in that store. Yeah. Yeah, you and me both, mate. It's it's a good way to get characters up quickly, isn't it, in theory? Yeah, and it's a really good... Like, I had so many of those credits because I've been hoarding them for so long, so it worked out well for me. And I've, I've been spending the the not elite ones as well, the silver ones, on gear fairly regularly, and I've still got nearly 200k of them as well. So, yeah. yeah I do like a bit of the Crucible store. It's handy. Yeah, it's good. It is good. I mean, it, it definitely makes me... Well, recently, obviously, we had to do it, didn't we, for Milestones? Um, we had to like win Cosmic Crucible matches, didn't we? I think we still do, don't we? For, sorry. Yeah, there's another. One. It's the next round starting tomorrow, isn't it, for us? That's right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I guess we, we do have to pay more attention to it. You know, more, more so than normal. Like uh, a few weeks prior to that, I wasn't even doing my Cosmic Crucible attacks. So <laughs> it is. Uh, it, it is good. Okay, um, and also since we've uh, since we've been away, uh, Archangel's Scourge happened. What minions did you use in the end? I used the three Ravager minions and then whatever two highest minions I had. I think it, they were all Cree. It was like the first level I would use the two weaker of the of the five Cree minions and then the, the second um, level I would use the two higher ones. I can't remember which, which they were. but Okay, and like you just, just let them die and carried on with using the three? Yeah, basically, yeah. They, they were cannon for them more than anything else. Um, okay, nice. But oh, yeah, I managed to unlock Archangel. I only managed to do it on like difficulty six or something. I didn't, I didn't get particularly high level. I only got him at three, um, three star and 
had to buy the third Red Star on him. So, right, okay, yeah, great. Hmm. That's good. Well, yeah, hopefully he comes around soon. Um, we've got we've got more intel on the uh, the scourges and stuff soon. And um, it really feels like we're coming to the end of this now, doesn't it? The whole uh, apocalypse thing. Yeah, yeah, we're there. We've seen all the characters. We've unlocked all the characters. Just need to wait for them to. So after the second run of the war scourge, I'll put the after apocalypse up, and then we just got to wait for that same thing for Archangel, and then hopefully get apocalypse. Yeah, which is <clears throat> um, which is exciting. I mean, just just talking about apocalypse for a second, like. Are you expecting him to come with some sort of new game mechanic or something like something game breaking? I mean, he has to be unreal, right? I mean, he can't just be counted like the next month. No, he's he's got to be he's got to be mega. Like when um, when the Dark Dimension characters come out, like Doom and um, Lord Mama and stuff. I remember when they first released, people were like, "Oh, they're ridiculous. They're so OP and blah blah blah." Yeah. Um, but now, like Lord Mama is just sort of meh. Do you know what I mean, he's he's barely talked about. Um, I don't want him to be like that. I want, I want him to be ridiculously overpowered for for a long, long time. Yeah, it's taken like they they announced this in twenty twenty one. Do you know what I mean? And we're now in twenty twenty three. We still haven't seen his kit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. I'll see. Yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, fingers crossed. We see something soon. Um, and uh, just before we jump into the blog post, mate, how are you getting on with the old Marvel Snap? <laughs> oh, mate, I am loving a bit of Marvel Snap. Okay. Um, I built a new deck the other day. Um, it's just basically works around Ultron, um, powering up like characters with no um, no abilities for his drones and stuff like that. Um, Have you got Patriot for that deck as well? I've got I've got Patriot. I've got Kazar. But I need Mystique. Um, I haven't got. Her. No, I haven't got Mystique and I haven't got Rogue. I need uh, I need both of those really. To right. Okay. Um, we have a success. I'm up to this season. I'm up to level 42. Oh, um, wow. Collection levels 15, 80. Goodness me, check you out. How are you getting on with it? Okay, mate, yeah. Um, all, all I do is play that discard deck that, um, that I love. I'm all about that. Um, still haven't got Dracula, because uh, I know he's good for that deck. I, I did get Thanos today, which is cool. But, nice. Yeah, it's but like that. 6,000 of those new currency to get. Yeah, yeah and I, don't, I, I mean, I, I, I need to look into like, what what decks to use him with and stuff, but like, I I really like playing this card. I really enjoy that, so I might just I might just stick with that. No yeah, I mean I haven't got Ultron either, um, or Doom. Doom's the only one I want, and I, he hasn't popped up yet. The minute he shows up in that store, I'm getting him. But, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, right, uh, let's read uh, this week's blog post, buddy. Um, so um, the War Drum Encore. Um, greetings commanders uh, the war scourge event uh, so put your roster on high alert and prepare for the second chance at recruiting red hulk on january 12th at 1 p.m with the return of the war horseman scourge event whether you are adding another star to this war horseman or recruiting him to your roster you don't want to miss the opportunity prep now by powering up your heroes guardian ravager and or wave one avengers oh there you go um in order to tackle nodes five and ten on difficulty five plus and just like last time, players that already have uh, 810 Red Hulk character shards will be moved to separate champions bracket where there will be separate milestone rewards that don't include Red Hulk shards. So that's good. A bit of Red Hulk. Yeah, love that. We'll have some of that. And uh, do you want to hit this, mate? Yeah, so Super Patriot events. We've got the coordinated assault that went live today. Um, stock up on ISO 8 resources with your alliance from January 7th with the first coordinated assault of the year. Spend us away campaign energy uh, towards a seven day alliance milestone that rewards T2 level one ions, T1 ions, and justice medals for progress in Super Patriot. Decent. And uh, yeah, it, it's all the same, I think. 140,000 uh, for the max for the, uh, the T2 level fours. Lovely. So, yeah. Um, next up, we've got Rise of the Regiment. So, arm your roster for the upcoming War Scourge event and earn Super Patriot progress on January 11th at 1 pm. With Rise of the Regiment, Stockpile Character Shards, T4 Ability Materials, and more with this limited time event. Um, and we've got Gamma Bomb Orb, and Gamma Bomb Orb Fragments from Select Campaign Nodes and Hostile Forces Web Milestones, uh, and open them to earn Character Shards for Gamma, Heroes Guardian, Wave on Avenger, and Ravager Character Shards. That's a, that's a damn good orb, that. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Love that. I, don't, I tell you what, man. I don't like um, farming campaign nodes, like select campaign nodes. Yeah, 
bothers me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if it's a good one, then fine. You know, if it's one of like the new villain, one of the new villain notes or something, then fine. But um, yeah. Um, so the Warzone milestone, uh, score points in the seven day milestone by earning Gamma Bomb or Fragments to earn Battle Boots, which is towards um, or Captain Captain America, Harry Kane. Uh, Justice Medals, uh, Character Shards for Hero as Guardian, Gamma and Ravager, T4 Ability Materials and Elite 5 Credits. Um, where are those boots? So the boots are required um, 21,000 points. Doesn't sound too uh, ridiculous. There's some um, Uru in there as well, which is handy. Uru. So that's one of the new things, isn't it? The Uru. Um, the latest piece. It's the one before it that you needed for gambling and stuff, wasn't it? The Uru. I can't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head. Mate, I've been, I've been trying to get that. Every time I see that stupid, stupid, if it's either teal or gold, I'm like, yep. But all, just, <laughs> just, just, just auto buy it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, you know that some characters coming soon are going to be going to be needing that so for sure right. uh, do you want to hit this mate the hostile forces web milestone yeah so blitz to rack up points on this week's uh, sorry for this week long milestone uh, and head to the website to claim your rewards gamma bomb orb fragments and more um, so collect a blitz credit and collect web UPCs to earn points 17,000 yeah get blitz and nerds Indeed, all week. Lovely. Love to hear it. Uh, War of Shadows, uh, Underworld. So, Rumble in the Darkness on January 13th with this War of Shadows, the next Quick Rumble Blitz. This featured trait will be Underworld, and along with Quick Rumble Rewards, War of Shadows will reward Justice Medals, Purple, purple Gear Credits, Orange Teal Raid Orb Fragments, and Armory 15 and 16 Orb Fragments. Fly through the milestones by winning with characters who possess the featured trait at three stars and five stars or go even faster with those characters at seven stars so um they're quick rumbles i don't mind those too much yeah i'll say i mean i haven't got any of the um underworld characters leveled up but some of them will be a high star level so yeah yeah i mean some of them are like day one characters aren't they so Get the, we'll get through that fairly easily. All right. All right. Character availability. So um, catch Mutant Fever when Dazzle character shards into the war store for 1,375 war credits in the near future. And we'll be sending out an inbox alert to let you in the availability. So keep an eye out. That's good. It's good news, yeah. New, newish character. So we'll take that. Uh, sure. and, then, and then the free claim Friday for this week was... Um, Five Captain Carter shards, and you'll get 7,500 Justice Medals to use in the Super Patriot January month on event. Um, while this free claim will only be available for 24 hours, keep an eye out for more free claims every day on the web. And then we've got the weekly events, mate. Yeah, so we've got the Shield Maiden Blitz on January 9th, which oh. gives you stiff character shards. I imagine 95% of the people got her at 7 star now, but never mind. Wasn't she originally a War Store character and everyone like blew all of their money on her in the War Store? Yeah, yeah back in the Dizay. Dark days. Uh, next next up, we've got the Infinity Watch Mystic Legendary event. So Adam Warlock. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Adam Warlock character shards, requirements, Jubilee, and four X-Factor characters at a minimum of five stars. Uh, character level 65, gear tier 12, and ISO class level three to recruit Adam Warlock. And if you're interested, we've got a video on that on the channel, youtube.com slash 4 UK. And then also on January 13th, we've got the Nowhere Heist. So Kitty Pride, Rocket Raccoon, Doc Ock, Invisible Woman, and Star-Lord. Get yourself some dark promotion creditos. Indeed. I recently um I recently took all of my crew up to I think 13. So I'll be able to do like the next level of that. Boom. Great. I mean, yeah. yeah goody gum drops. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there you go, old uh, big old big old red hulk um coming back next week. Um have you got any strategies this time for it, or are you just gonna uh just go through again and um do how you do? Yeah, I think I did all right with him last time. I'm pretty sure I, I placed quite high. Like, I think I've got him five star, fairly high up. Um, let's have a look, because my um, my hero as guardians are pretty, pretty tonk. Mm. Um, I did all right. And uh, to be fair, I need, I need to get him at four red stars, so I might have to do a little bit of um, more wave one Avenger stuff to save my hero as guardians for the for the end node. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
think that was the only issue I had really. That I, that I was using them on the first node and they were weakened for the end node, but should be all right. Should be good to go. Wicked, man. Okay. Well, there we go. Beautiful. Well, um, I guess we will reconvene next week, mate, to discuss all things Marvel and uh, we'll go from there, I guess. Love you, sir. Nice one. All right, guys. So please remember to rate and view this podcast however you consume it. And please do not forget to follow or subscribe. Remember, all roads lead to youtube.com slash foreplay UK, which is our YouTube channel. We do all sorts of stuff, uh, gaming, video guides, uh, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, go check us out. Drop us a subscribe. Um, hit that bell notification because apparently that does something. Um, <laughs> if, you want to ask, if you want to ask us a question for next week, drop it down in the YouTube comments um, for this episode and we'll read them out next week. There's a link in the description if you're listening on a podcast service. And thank you guys very much uh, for checking us out, um, and thanks for all your support over last year. Uh, we've got big plans for next year, uh, well, for this year, so we appreciate your support. Uh, Diggs, mate, you got anything else you want to say to the people? No, mate, no, see you next week. Nice one. Uh, thanks a lot, and good luck, Commanders. Boom. <laughs>